What if I told you that with just one line of code, you could hijack a website's traffic, steal sensitive data, redirect users to malicious servers, and earn thousands in bug bounties? That's host header injection, one of the most underrated web vulnerabilities in 2025. And today, you're gonna master it like a pro. Stick around, because in the next 15 minutes, I'll show you the exact one-liners to find and exploit this flaw. The critical headers that make or break your attack, a custom-built Python tool to automate mass exploitation, and a secret nuclei template that finds these bugs in seconds. Beyond the host header, Several other headers can be exploited. X-forwarded host, often used in proxy setups, can be manipulated to alter server behavior. X-host, similar to host, but less commonly validated. Forwarded, can specify host and protocol information. X-original URL, may reveal internal routing paths. Misconfigurations in handling these headers can lead to serious security flaws. Uh, let's begin. Uh, this simple curl command injects a fake host header, tricking the server into thinking we're attacker.com. If the site reflects this back, boom, vulnerability confirmed. Not see that. The server just said, oh, hey, attacker.com, come on in. Not exactly the welcome match you want. But the host header is just the beginning. Real hackers know these alternate headers bypass WAFs and load balancers like they're not even there. Miss these and you're leaving cash on the table. Remember, lazy hackers get $500, thorough hackers get $5,000. The host header is a basic requirement of HTTP 1.11. It tells the server which domain you're accessing. But when websites trust this input without validation, you get host header injection. Imagine password reset links being sent to attacker.com instead of the actual user. That's jackpot material right there. Now why care? Because reverse proxies, cache layers, and old school apps often use these to build links, verify domains, or redirect users. Spoof one, and you own the logic. Pro tip, always test a combo of headers. One bad config equals multiple entry points. Here's three one-liners every bounty hunter should know. All right, hackers, let's jump in. To the advanced phase of finding host header injection vulnerabilities. First things, we start by identifying the attack surface. I'm using a simple one-liner that utilizes Asset Finder to quickly gather subdomains and assets from a target list. You can also enrich this using tools like a mass, subfinder, or even querying certificate transparency logs. Next up, we shift to URL discovery. I use Catan, a blazing fast crawler that pulls endpoints from the subdomains we just found. Pro tip, host header injection is more impactful on endpoints like auth, login, or reset password. These often perform internal routing or send emails with manipulated headers. If exploited, you could be redirecting sessions or poisoning password resets. Try rotating these with headers and watch for reflected values. By manipulating the host header, attackers can trick the server into generating links, redirects, or content that points to malicious sites. This can lead to phishing attacks, cache poisoning, and even unauthorized access to internal systems. Now let's automate it like pros. Here's a custom Nuclei template I made just for this attack. It sends multiple GET requests to different paths. When a server trusts and reflects the value of the host header sent in an HTTP request, an attacker can inject malicious host names, tricking the app into generating incorrect links, redirects, or even exposing internal data. If it sees attacker.com in any of these places, it confirms the injection is reflected meaning vulnerable. But here's the chess move. Don't stop at reflection. Chain it. See if it leaks credentials, enables SSRF, or poisons logs. That's how you turn a $100 bug into a $10,000 bug. Find the invisible links. Hack like a mastermind. Let's pause. If your brain's melting right now, breathe. That's normal. Most people quit here. You, you're leveling up. 
check the description for the custom Spectre sex script, the nuclei template, and payloads to test today. In the next video, we'll bypass that like a ninja. No VPNs, no brute force. Just clever logic and twisted HTTP. All right, you found it. What next? Try sending a fake host and triggering password reset. If the reset email uses the host value, you now receive the link. Instant account takeover. This custom Python script fuzzes headers, checks for reflections, and logs every suspicious behavior. Built for stealth, designed for results. And now, the heart of this tool. Here's the code that powers this beast. Let's dive into the engine room. This isn't your average vulnerability scanner. This tool is handcrafted with love and over 80 plus custom headers, payloads, and misconfiguration tricks. From simple host, evil.com injections, to advanced payloads like SSRF, SSTI, XSS, open redirects, command injection, DNS rebinding, cache poisoning, and more. Because real hackers don't just test, they break logic. This scanner analyzes reflection points inside headers, body, JavaScript, JSON, and even template injections. It logs everything, tracks stats, and gives you a full color-coded CLI experience, powered by Colorama, TQDM, logging, and multi-threading. It then guides you through a clean, menu-driven interface. Whether you're scanning one domain or a thousand, it's your call. Let's scan a single URL in real time. The tool generates a dynamic payload like abc123.spectorsec.com and injects it across dozens of headers, checking for cache control, reflections, and behavior shifts. If it reflects, redirects, or caches, you've got a lead. Now, let's scale it up. You've got a list of URLs in a file called targets.txt. The scanner loads your URLs, spawns threads, and starts fuzzing every endpoint. Real-time progress, auto-saving results, Every bug hunter knows, automation wins scope. Once the scan completes, you get a full breakdown. Total targets, vulnerable targets. Time elapsed, top five vulnerable domains. The tool supports saving results in JSON, TXT, or CSV, so you can plug it into any workflow or share it in a bug bounty report. It even logs everything in hhiscanner.log, just in case you need to revisit your session. Payloads are dynamically replaced per target using ranster.spectorsec.com, allowing you to track reflections even in complex content like JSON, XML, headers, or meta tags. Every header from host, X forwarded host, X original URL, to custom and CDN specific headers like CF connecting IP or X Azure FDID, all are tested. This isn't a scanner. This is a full-blown host header injection framework. It doesn't just test the door, it knocks, kicks, scans for hidden panels, and checks if the lock echoes your name back. Use it smart, report ethically, get paid. Because every HTTP response is whispering secrets. If you know how to listen,